Once thousands of nanobots are zipping around inside your body, will you still be in control of your mind, will, and emotions? Or will the nanobots be running the show? According to Google, a nanobot is a hypothetical, very small, self-propelled machine, especially one that has some degree of autonomy and can reproduce. Scientists here in the United States have been working on nanobots that can travel through our bodies at astonishing speeds, deliver medicines to targeted locations, and even enter our brain cells. Eventually, these so-called researchers hope to use nanobots to connect our brains directly to the internet. I realize that all of this sounds quite crazy, but as you will see later, everything that I am sharing with you has been documented. Some experts even believe that someday, nanobots will actually be capable of enabling humans to live indefinitely. The following comes from an article entitled Nanobots Will Be Flowing Through Your Body by 2030. Futurists often claim that nanobots hold the key to eternal life. Inventor, author, and Google futurist Ray Kurzweil, in an interview with Neil deGrasse, claimed that tiny nanobots in our bloodstreams will prevent us from dying in 2030. According to Kurzweil, the nanobots will travel inside you on a molecular level, protecting your biological system, and ensuring you'll have a good and long life. The future is closer than you may think. I certainly don't want nanobots flowing through my body by 2030, but this is the future that they have planned for us. Eternal slave, tireless, and always healthy. In Colorado, one team of scientists has already developed nanobots that can travel through human bodies at incredible speeds. Wyatt Shields IV, PhD, chemical biological engineer at University of Colorado Boulder says, medical microrobots are essentially microscale devices. So we're talking devices five to 10 times thinner than the human hair. A team of engineers at the University of Colorado Boulder has designed a new class of tiny self-propelled robots that can zip through a body at incredible speeds. The bots are made out of polymer materials that are biocompatible using a technology similar to 3D printing. They look like small rockets with three tiny fins. And the result is that these robots move really fast. So on the order of several hundred body lengths per second, I think 120 or 140 body lengths per second. So that would be equivalent to a six foot tall person running 400 miles per hour, adds Professor Shields. Researchers envision a day when thousands of nanobots are zipping around inside our bodies performing various tasks. For example, one company in California has actually been working on nanobots that are designed to transport medication to the exact location in the body where it's needed. California-based startup Bionaut Labs has developed a nanobot about the size of a grain of rice that's designed to transport medication to the exact location in the body where it's needed. If you think about it, the conventional way to deliver medicine makes little sense. A painkiller affects the entire body instead of just the arm that's hurting, and chemotherapy is flushed through all the veins instead of precisely targeting the tumor. To a lot of people, such technology is going to sound absolutely wonderful. And if we don't need it, they will create the problem so that we are afraid and they will offer the solution. In particular, Bionaut Labs is very excited about the possibility of using their nanobots to attack tumors. Several startups and academic institutes worldwide are working to develop such a solution, but Bionaut Labs seems the furthest along in advancing its invention. You can think of the Bionaut as a tiny screw that moves through the veins as if steered by an invisible screwdriver until it arrives at the tumor, Spiegelmecker explains. Via Zoom, he shares the screen of an X-ray machine in his Culver City lab to demonstrate how the half-transparent, yellowish device wins its way along the spine in the body. The nanobot contains a tiny but powerful magnet. The invisible screwdriver is an external magnetic field that rotates that magnet inside the device and gets it to move and change directions. That definitely sounds very impressive. But what are the dangers? Many are concerned that someday nanobot technology could potentially be used to completely enslave humanity. Even now, scientists are developing nanobots that can actually go inside cells and transmit information to the outside world. The following comes from an article entitled Nanobots Can Now Enter Brain Cells to Spy on What They're Doing. Dablina Sarkar has big dreams for the little machines that she makes. Some of her ultra-tiny electronic devices are smaller than a mote of dust. And her dreams? They're so big that they may one day be able to save your mind. Sarkar is an MIT scientist that is trying to use nanotechnology to help those with Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Her team has created something called a cell rover that has entered a frog egg cell and successfully transmitted a signal from inside. Her group's most innovative device may be the cell rover, a tiny, flat antenna 
This rover can transmit a signal from inside of a cell without harming it. In one study last year, Sarkar and her colleagues placed a cell rover into a frog egg cell. Using magnetic fields, they gently nudged the device into the egg. Once it was safely inside, the researchers activated a different magnetic field that caused molecules in the nano device to vibrate. Those vibrations didn't hurt the cell. They just changed the magnetic field of the cell rover itself. A receiver outside the egg detected the altered magnetic field of the quivering rover. In this way, the device had been able to communicate with the outside world. But this is just the beginning of what these researchers hope to accomplish. Eventually, Sarkar intends to insert nanodevices between human neurons in order to make our brains even faster than they currently are. Eventually, Sarkar hopes to insert nanodevices between human neurons. That could boost our mind's computing speed. Our brains are remarkable, she says, but adds, we could be better than what we are. Needless to say, it won't stop there. Ray Kurzweil is looking forward to the day when nanobots will provide virtual and augmented reality from within the nervous system and will enable allow our brains to connect directly to the internet. One thesis of mine is that we're going to merge with the intelligent technology that we are creating. The scenario that I have is that we will send medical nanorobots into our bloodstream. One application of these medical nanorobots will be to extend our immune systems. That's what I call the third bridge to radical life extension. The first bridge is what we can do now, and bridge two is the perfecting of biotechnology and reprogramming the software of life. Bridge three constitutes these medical nanorobots to perfect the immune system. These robots will also go into the brain and provide virtual and augmented reality from within the nervous system, rather than from devices attached to the outside of our bodies. The most important application of the medical nanorobots is that we will connect the top layers of our neocortex to synthetic neocortex in the cloud. What would our world look like if most of our brains were directly connected to the internet by nanobots? To me, the potential for tyranny would be off the charts. A central authority with power over those nanobots could wield a tremendous amount of power over our thoughts, feelings, and core beliefs. So I will never willingly allow anyone to put any nanobots inside of me. But one of the things that is so frightening about nanobots is that they are so small that they could potentially enter your body without you even noticing. And once they are running around inside of you, getting them out is not going to be easy at all. Now it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.